All right, let's see, um, Daniel. Thanks, Ron. Have you heard of something that I guess is called the trial penalty? Um, I was reading a story about uh, parents who uh, cheated to help their kids get into school, to UCLA, by having someone else take the test. And there were like 35 sets of parents. Those that would, um, uh, I forget what the word is, say that they're guilty, um, would get very light penalties. You know, uh, several of them just got uh, probation and um, those that actually did get jail terms, it was like three to five months. Yeah. Anyone who fought the system who said, no, I don't, I think this is wrong. I did not uh, actually commit the crime you're claiming. They're charged with other things as well, such as conspiracy. And they're looking at 20 years if they're, if they're found guilty. Yeah. And so they're calling this the trial penalty. And I just don't see where it's very just, right? I mean, either the people who are just getting probation are getting off too easy um, for the crime committed, or the people that are, are fighting the system saying, no, I'm innocent and I'm going to fight this. Yep. They're being punished for fighting for their innocence. Um, so No, I think you're absolutely right. I think it's ridiculous if that that is the difference uh, slapping a wrist versus 20 years in jail. That's ridiculous. You know, what these parents committed is fraud. I don't think 20 years is the right penalty for fraud. Um, and they defrauded the university primarily. Yep. Uh, and, 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 and the point is, look, if they're lying, you can get them for perjury and then the, the additional penalties for perjury. But yeah, they, they, our justice system um, is geared towards not going to court. It's geared towards settling. It's geared towards incentivizing people to admit or to settle or to, or to come some kind of some kind of deal with the government so that the government doesn't have to actually engage in a trial. Uh, and the more exaggerated they make these penalties, the more people are going to likely uh, to just confess and get it over with than, um, than fight it because the risk if you fight it is, of course, that you lose and you go to jail for a long time. So I think it's part of the system's way of disincentivizing people to actually fight it, which is not healthy and not good. Uh, I'm not sure how you solve the problem, but uh, uh, you've got to get judges who are willing not to buy into this and 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 not to buy into prosecutors trying to uh, relieve themselves of the amount of trials they have to prosecute. Uh, you have to get judges who are not willing to go for 20 years for a case of fraud and not willing to to accept all these uh, all these additional charges. Now, I can understand uh, being willing to give somebody a lighter sentence yes. when they acknowledge that they committed a crime that, that shows repentance, that shows maybe that they, they, they understand that they did something wrong, um, but not if it's the difference between zero and 20 years in jail. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I think so. And, and a friend suggested that uh, district attorneys, prosecutors want basically a perfect trial record. And so they are also incentivized to try to make sure the only ones that um, go into court, they can win. Once they're going to win. Yeah, yeah no, I, I think that's right. I think you're right. I, I think it is. Uh, it, they do have that incentive. I think there's probably all kind of external incentives linked to that linked to having a perfect uh, trial record. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a whole literature called public choice, which discusses the, the incentives of government officials in various roles and in various positions. And it's, it's really interesting and, and, and really fascinating. You know, we assume that government employees are there for the common good and they, their incentives somehow are pure and uh, because, because they're not self-interested. Um, we know that that doesn't work and we know that that's not true. And we know that self-interest is not a negative, but a, but a positive. Yeah. Thank you. Yo. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making an appropriate contribution. 
uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.